didn't go down the hill at all. They simply sat back and visualized what they were going to do. Now, even more than that, the group that visualized that when they when they started measuring the muscles in their legs, they actually found that their body was contracting the muscles in their legs in, in synchronized with their strategy. So if their strategy, they were thinking about moving to the left, they were thinking about moving to the right, their muscles actually responded in the same way. So these don't discount these mental movies. Now, of course, there's no way that the market is going to move exactly how we visualize it. But it will still prepare you for what's going on during the day. Now, this next stage is also very important to self-check. Um, you know, if you're just feeling like you're not into it, you had a rough night before, maybe you drank too much alcohol the night before, uh, you know, maybe you're, you're just feeling sick, take the day off or demo trade. Don't put your money in, on the line. It's not worth it. The self-check is, is a critical part of your day. Uh, in fact, professional trading firms are constantly making their traders do self-analysis. How do you feel? Is today a good day? And if today is a good day, it may be a day where they will give that trader more money. Now, I'm not, I'm not telling you to, to commit more money. I'm not saying to do that at all because there's not enough control. In a professional firm, if they do tell a trader, okay, you need to press it today, they have literally two people that are watching every second of the day how that trader is performing. And if his performance starts to drop, they instantly drop him back down to his normal size. So that that option you have to you have to completely wipe off your slate as a as a retail trader. But you do still want to do a self check and make sure that you're feeling up to it. If you're sick or something else, just take the day off. Now during the trading day, you focus on your written plan. The key here is written plan. You watch for new patterns to develop. Remember, we're focusing on what? The one hour and the four hour. We're not focusing on the 15 minute during the day. This is to trade, so we reiterate that. Watch the one hour and four hour, not the 15 minute. When it's time to trade, check the 15 minute. There's a, just a, a simple reminder. We, put it, we write it down, we put it in our plan. After the trading day is over, you wanna record the day. Remember your 20 trade segment. You wanna transfer your trades from the 20 trade segment over to your spreadsheet. Remember to record your feelings, your mistakes, and especially your triumphs. You want to check the schedule for the news for tomorrow, and then your day's done. You can go home, turn off your computer, go relax, watch TV, uh, play with the kids, ride your bike, just get away from the market. Now, money management. 